Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find skin tones in Abyss Paint. This does work for any drawing program but Abyss Paint is the one that I'm going to be using for an example. Skin tones are often really difficult to find and sometimes they can be confusing when you don't know how to get to them properly, especially if there's no samples for skin tones. The samples end about here on the automatic Abyss Paint. So all these things that I've added myself, you don't automatically get all these skin tones that I've added here. How to actually find the skin tone? I always find staying in the area from here to here works best. This is the general skin tone area. To get a more pale shade, go about right in the middle of red and orange. And then just work your way up to around here, and then you'll see a really pale skin tone. Making it more tanned would just be going down a little bit and putting it into the colour a bit more. And you keep sort of going downwards gently until you get the other tones that you want. Darker tones tend to go in around this area, generally. But depending on the type of colour, you can also go into the orangish area and try out skin tones there. Some skin tones that I've saved that you might want to use are... Here are some basic skin tones that I recommend using. I'm going to go on the eyedropper and show you the exact coordinates for each one, starting from the most pale. So here you can see all of these bars. To find a specific colour, all you need to do is just go on to a colour that I have here and go to the exact percentages on each of these and the exact numbers. So I will quickly show you the percentages and the numbers for each of these. Of course, it's always good to try and find a midpoints between each one, or maybe even just blur or blend, like I will do here. And use the eyedropper between each to find new tones that you like. Skin tones are honestly super difficult to manage, so getting the hang of them is always a good idea. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that it helped you out. If it did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Thank you for watching. Bye!